So the trailer released for Spider-Man No Way Home on Monday and I gotta say, I think they're over exaggerating the dramatic gesture of making a live action Spider-Verse. Now personally, I am one of the people who was excited to see Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield. Seeing Alfred Molina's and all the uh, references to The Amazing Spider-Man and uh, the original Sam Raimi-verse, it really gave off some nostalgic feel and I really appreciate the people for doing that. But again, I feel like this movie was like very, very overhyped. Not saying that I'm not gonna enjoy this movie, I probably will because I'm a fanboy for Spider-Man, but not as much as Batman, of course. Now, personally, I think that this is gonna be a very controversial movie, as you could say. Not because it's gonna be, you know, like bringing all these um, characters together, we're gonna be fighting over the best Spider-Man or whatnot. So basically, this movie is pretty much gonna basically be the absolute excuse to bring these characters together. What I would have done is basically make an actual Spider-Verse movie. Now they're just doing this to get rid of uh, Mysterio giving up his identity. And I'm not saying that's not a bad plot, but it's just like, it's kind of out of the blue, I guess. I don't know. It's just, I feel like this this plot thing is overrated. And people saying that Doctor Strange isn't Doctor Strange. It also doesn't make sense that Doctor Strange would be, be doing something that dangerous for some kid he barely even knew. It helps the plot, I guess. I'm not gonna lie. I was a big fan of the MCU when it first started. As I was saying, you know, I'm not a big fan of the MC anymore ever since what happened with uh, Kevin Foggy and the whole Justice League charade. So after hearing that, it just felt like watching the MC movies just didn't feel right after that. So I know Kevin Foggy isn't part of this movie, or, or at least from what I've known, he's not part of it at all, or some, you know, way. He's just, you know, I guess the Marvel MCU guy from now on. Now, granted, the Russo brothers did, you know, the Infinity War and um, Endgame, but it's just, you know, I don't know, I'm just looking forward, I just hope to see them three because we don't, even just a standard, you know, shot, you know, mostly these movies are great for visual stuff, it's not really for like the story, like at this point the stories are just basically the same, you know, like Scorsese says, they're all um, theme park rides, it's exciting to see in terms of, uh, in terms of visual stuff, you know, but um, in terms of the stories, just, they don't feel like good stories anymore. Now essentially, you know, they could just rip off the whole Miles Morales and just introduce him a little early, you know, and just do that instead, but you know, they won't do that, you know. Technically he is in the MCU, but you know, they're not gonna do that for now. They're gonna make one whole movie based off Miles Morales and that's basically it. Do you think they'll bring back the symbiote suit? I hope they do. That'd be so sick. What if they all get symbiote suits? Oh my god, that would be a kind of a money idea. I'll end up actually liking that part if that ends up happening. That would be so sick seeing a, like a Stark suit in symbiote form or like Andrew Garfield suit in symbiote form. Oh, that would be so money. <laughs>